The changes are continuing to roll in for Google Ads as Google continues to update its suite of different Google Ads campaign types that it is now offering so that it can best suit the upcoming changes that is happening to our user search patterns. And the next big change is that Google will be replacing its discovery campaigns with a new campaign type called Demand Gen. Now before I go through and give you an overview of these new campaigns that are coming, and I'll also be sharing my view of whether I'll be using this new campaign type called Demand Gen, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video. We do need to cover the big elephant in the room, and we need to find out with who in Google is coming up with these new campaign type names, Performance Max, Demand Gen, Seriously, what's the next campaign gonna be called in Google Ads? Maybe something like Radical Results. Anyway, that's just my personal view on the current naming of different campaign types in Google Ads. Not a fan, but hey, let's run with it anyway. Now, this is what we currently know about Demand Gen, and what I would say with this is that this will probably follow the same path and the same launch roadmap as Performance Max in that when Demand Gen is finally released for open use, it will probably look very, very different 18 months to two years down the track. So where it sits right now is Demand Gen is in what's called an open beta testing phase, which means that companies can apply to be part of the beta testing. But I do wanna make that clear that this is very much for larger spending accounts because Google wants to see as much data as possible before it makes it available to everyone who's using the Google Ads platform. So what is Demand Gen designed to do and what networks does it focus on? Now, the first thing you need to understand with Demand Gen is that there are no keyword inputs. So unlike in Performance Max, where you can add in some audience signals around different search terms and keywords, that is not gonna be available in Demand Gen. So the best way to think about it is Demand Gen will function closer to how our Facebook and Instagram campaign functions. Now, I'm definitely not saying it's the same as a Facebook ads campaign, but in terms of its functionality, it's gonna be a lot closer to a social network based campaign. And it's also clear to note that because there is no keyword input, the ads won't be appearing on Google search or shopping network, where they'll be focused on YouTube shorts, YouTube in-stream videos, YouTube in-feed, the Discover Network, and also Gmail. Now, because there is no keyword inputs and because of the networks that Google is showing the ads on in that on YouTube and Gmail, it makes it very, very clear that for success with Demand Gen, it will rely a lot more on the quality of your video ads and the quality of your image ads as opposed to your keyword targeting. And that's where I said before that it's gonna be a lot closer to a Facebook style campaign as opposed to a traditional search or shopping campaign where you can get great results with just a focused keyword strategy. So then first important thing to note that a starting point for success with Demand Gen is that you will have to be able to create high quality video and image ads for success. Now the second thing that will be a clear driver for Demand Gen is that you will need to have some great audiences to start with. I'm not saying that you can't start with out audiences, but the more data that you're gonna be able to initially feed in to Google Ads, you'll get results faster. And the reason for this is because in its release when Google made this announcement back in May, it said that Demand Gen would be focusing on lookalike audiences and also your existing customers. Now obviously those lookalike audiences would be coming from your existing customers, so that makes sense that the more data that you can initially give to Google, the quicker it's gonna be able to create those lookalike audiences and the more accurate those lookalike audiences will be. And once again, obviously I'm no expert in Facebook ads, but we all do know that that is a key driver for the way that Facebook operates on those lookalike audiences. Now, obviously this is very, very early days, but with my research and how I'd be looking at using demand gen in the future, if I was to use it, it would very much be for businesses that have established and functioning campaigns like a search campaign, shopping campaign, and also some performance max campaigns that are performing well. And then you would add the demand gen on top of those campaigns. So really looking at reaching people who are not ready for that buying or they haven't heard of your brand. So now that I've given you the brief overview of demand gen, I really wanna now come down and answer that question of, will I be using demand gen when it first becomes available to all users in Google Ads. Now for Demand Gen, I'll be using it in the same way that I rolled out and started using Performance Max for my clients, in that for the first three to six months after Demand Gen has launched, 
I won't be using it for any of my clients. Now, I will be using Demand Gen, but that will be for my own businesses and my own brands. And the reason for that is because I wanna see some real data before I give recommendations for Demand Gen. And the Demand Gen campaigns that I'll be running will be run from my own budget and my own spending and very much just me wanting to see how these campaigns run and how they perform potentially for my clients. So that's what I would be doing. Now, obviously I don't wanna give any strong recommendations for my viewers, but personally, if it was me, I would not be using demand gen for the first three to six months until some of the initial bugs were sort of worked out because even when it does get rolled out and it comes out of that open beta testing phase, generally you find the initial release, there are more releases that come through very, very quickly. And we saw this with Performance Max, is that you know the data we can see in a Performance Max campaign is so much better now than what it was when Performance Max was first released. You know Now we can see keyword insights, we can see data at the asset group level, and all of that data just was not available when Performance Max was first launched. So that's what I'd be saying, especially if you're operating under a small budget, I would not be using demand gen for that first period of three to six months. And then if you were to start using it, I'd be using it in an account that already had some great conversion results. So I wouldn't be using it as a last ditch effort to try and make a Google Ads campaign successful. So with the biggest point being is that once demand gen is fully released, Although I believe it will be a great campaign and a campaign type that will be suitable for quite a few businesses in the future, I just personally wouldn't want to be the first one using it. I'd personally be waiting until there's some more data. And of course, you're going to be seeing more discussions about demand gen coming in the weeks and months as it becomes available. Now, a point on that, as I said, I'll be starting my own demand gen campaigns as soon as it becomes available. And then when I get those initial results in, I'll be sharing them right here on my YouTube channel. So if you wanted to stay up to date with demand gen, make sure that you subscribe and also turn on that notification bell so that you can get those results as soon as I release them on YouTube. Now, I also do wanna say that in terms of demand gen that I did have a further discussion on demand gen when we did a live recording session called The Future of Google Ads and Your Business. And this was a live only event that was held with the Google head office here in Sydney. Now, you obviously, because it was live only, you can't see that event. But what I have done is I've given a recap of that event. And if you wanna see the recap, as I discuss the main points about everything that is coming up with the future of Google Ads and your business, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. Once again, thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young, I'm from Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And remember, if you wanna see the recap of that event, all you need to do, follow that link in the description. But if you wanna stay on YouTube and find out some extra information about what's coming up over the coming weeks and months in Google, all you need to do is to watch this video right here. Thank you again.